Break news coming in and this is an India Today exclusive. We've learned that at least 600 personnel from the BSF have been pulled out from border regions all for a grand farewell parade for the retiring DG of BSF DK Pathak. 12 contingents will give the farewell salute to the outgoing BSF chief on Monday. 11 of them are surprisingly from border frontiers. The troops have been practicing in Delhi for a month. Sources say leaves of several Javans were also cancelled for this. While addressing the Army, Navy and Air Force on board the INS Vikramaditya, Prime Minister Modi spoke about the fact that Indian Armed Forces, and of course he wasn't referring specifically to BSF, but he said that India's Armed Forces have been slow to reform. We wonder whether a practice like this, TG's farewell parade for which troops have been pulled out from border areas just so that they can come here, dress up in their ceremonial best and march so that one man can have the satisfaction of a good farewell. Is this not a practice which needs reform? Is this not a practice which has lost relevance at a time when the borders are under pressure and the terrorists are waiting at the gates? With camera person Pratap Swain in the BSF camp at Chawla in New Delhi, Jugal Purohit for India Today. This is a heavy drain on our resources and keeping in view the recent incidents of Pathan Court and Malda and other places, yeah. we, uh, as you know, are guarding very sensitive borders. And keeping this much of manpower away from borders for so long is, I think, uh, is, is, uh, is, a, is, a, is a crime. It should mm -hmm. not happen. We have E.N. Ram Mohan, ex-DG BSF, on the phone line with us. Uh, so, your, so your reaction, do you think that uh, these kind of grand ceremonies are actually required? Uh, I think as a rule, we should not, they should not go to the extent of calling troops from all the frontiers. It amounts to a lot of expense. You see, the, imagine the travel costs of so many people coming from each frontier, going back. I think it's unnecessary. There's no need to have success. And uh, sir, if you don't mind me asking, did you get a similar uh, farewell when you retired? Uh, it all depends, you know. I retired in, uh, I think, in December. And uh, December, the uh, uh, annual parade of the BSF is held. Okay. So, troops are already here in Delhi. So, there was no problem of calling troops just for the sake of my retirement. All right. And, uh, and, and do you think that this is also obviously not, uh, you know, too good no, in terms of security arrangements? I am very clear as far as I was concerned. I didn't want any parade. I think it's a waste of, uh, certainly waste of money calling people from all over the frontier. And it also, sir, the fact that, that, that this is a time when uh, infiltration is a huge worry. Uh, almost every other day there are reports of firing along the border. And to call in troops from border areas for a parade uh, seems a bit... Uh, seems yeah, a yeah bit absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, it is not justified. It's not justified, but... No, uh, no, no, no. The expense is enormous. Imagine uh, 10, 10 frontiers. Troops coming, at least uh, one one company will come from each place. That is about hundred odd men. But this is this is a, this is a tradition. If questioned, the armed forces will, will always come out and say that we we sort of carrying on the tradition that that tradition that uh, that I makes us what think, we are. I don't think this should be established as a tradition. Okay. Normally, in the state and every other place, in the DG is retiring. No parade is held like this. And so, who's Obviously, responsible for there. these arrangements? Who's, who's responsible for these arrangements? Who's, who's taken the decision to call back troops from borders? That will be done by the force itself. It is, uh, nobody goes to government for sanction for this. All right. Thank you so much uh, for speaking to India today. That was E.N. Ram Mohan, former DGBSF, saying that he thinks these kind of ceremonies should be done away with. They're extremely expensive, require a lot of money to be spent. Also, the fact that border areas are... Uh, that, that troops are pulled out of border areas is not something that should be done considering that we're in the middle of, uh, that we're approaching summer and infiltration is a threat which is, uh, which we have been facing on our borders. We have Jugal Purohit uh, who's with us live from our newsroom. Jugal, tell us a little bit more about this parade that's been organized for the outgoing DG.
Absolutely, Simi. In fact, before I begin, I must tell our viewers that uh, it's it's a strange situation that the BSF finds itself in. The force, every time there's an infiltration, the force is asked answers from. We often hear from them that it's actually the manpower shortage which is preventing them from giving a foolproof security, from deploying, from deploying troops in large enough numbers to seal and secure our borders. And at that time, we are having a spectacle of this type being put up. Uh, Simi, just so that our viewers understand, understand on the 1st of December which is the BSF raising day there is a grand parade that takes place on the 26th of January of course as we are aware the Republic Day parade takes place and now with this present DG retiring on the 29th of February another parade is taking place for all of these parades of course you require practice uh, in effect since the month of October or perhaps a little end of October from that time onwards troops have been committed towards ceremonial duties now it's not our job to say right or wrong but the fact is that many within the BSF are now talking about it they're saying that at a time when, when we do not have adequate manpower why cannot we reform practices like the one that we are just talking about just to put things into perspective Simi uh, very often we've seen comparisons being drawn between BSF the paramilitary organizations and the armed forces just so that our viewers understand, whenever an army, navy or an air force chief retires and the new one comes in, there's a very simple ceremony, it's called the guard of honor and the passing on of the bait. And it's a very short, very crisp ceremony that takes place in New Delhi and the, the ceremonies are, are done with and the job starts. In this particular case, as we've just explained, we had Ian Ram Mohan himself, an ex-DG BSF, saying that this is perhaps time enough to put a stop to practices like the ones which have an impact on the logistics, they have an impact on the personal they have of course impact on operations I am given to understand that many troops have got their leaves cancelled on account of this ceremony many troops are, are putting in additional hours there's more pressure of course uh, because BSF quite typically faces what no other force no other paramilitary faces that is a, a territory littered with terrorist infrastructure terrorist camps a determined group of state backed terrorists who are trying to enter there is proof Gurdaspur attacks tell us that Punjab is new is next on the horizon Pathan code attack has taken place and yet the fact that we do not feel that there is a time to question a practice like this is what is riling a lot of men from the BSF itself I was there at this particular camp where this parade has to happen many officers many men there told me of course uh, for for obvious official reasons they cannot come in front of the camera but they did express uh, their opinion and their opposition if i may say so to this to this kind of an arrangement which is putting severe strain on the already strained infrastructure of the border security force back to you you can stay on with us we're also being joined by ms malhi former ig bsf who's with us on the phone line sir your reaction 12 contingents uh, to Give the farewell salute to the outgoing BSF chief on Monday. Eleven of them are from border frontiers. Yeah, I think the earlier we stop this kind of tradition, the better it will be. Because I can uh, uh, vouch for this, that every man who is called for such parades in Delhi are pulled out of some BOP on the border. So it directly affects the operational capability and operational readiness of the border security force. And uh, this is high time that this kind of ceremonies are stopped and we have a simple uh, guard of honor and exchange of Bennett li uh, baton like it is done with, the, with the other forces, even with the defense forces. Right, and uh, so I want to ask you, why is it that the BSF's traditions are so different and why is it that they haven't changed in all these years? Uh, yeah, you see traditions uh, develop over a long period of time and uh, sometimes the time comes when we have to review these traditions and now I think is the right time to take a relook and stop all these traditions which drain away manpower from the border. All right, uh, Jugal, do you also have uh, a question for uh, the IG of BSF, the former That's IG? That's right. Uh, uh, IG, uh, Mali, I have a question. While we were pursuing this report, we were given to understand by many, including, uh, uh, you know, former DGs of the BSF and other paramilitary organizations, they say that why are you singling out the BSF? All the paramilitary organizations have this. They also say that this is a tradition and it is not something which a DG is doing specifically for himself. Since you've said that this is a ceremony whose time has come for reform and perhaps even closure if you if you so believe 
Would you say that the BSF is wrong in, in organizing something which it says is, is a simple tradition? You see, initially when BSF was raised, BSF was not under so much of uh, pressure operationally on the borders. The borders were peaceful. But over a period of time, our borders have become very hostile and BSF is manning a very hostile border with Pakistan, both uh, on the IB as well as the line of control. So we require more, more manpower for these borders and especially after Pakistan uh, uh, infiltration and attack on uh, Pathan Court Air Base, when BSF is asking for more troops on Punjab border, Aye. at the same time draining troops from these areas, I think this needs to be questioned and Aye. questioned seriously. And IG Mali, if I can just ask you, do you believe that time has come that all the, all the paramilitary organizations take a stand and say that we will not commit so much of manpower, resources, just so that a farewell can be held? Do you think this is a time when the Home Ministry perhaps needs to step in and say that if you can't do it, then we will do a rationalization of send-off ceremonies like the one that we are just seeing? Uh, I think forces will be wise enough to review it and take appropriate measures like these ceremonies are no longer required. I don't uh, think MHA needs to step in for such a uh, minor thing which is in the domain of the power of the each DG of the paramilitary force. Hey, this is a story of course that we will keep following. Remember I must put it on record for our viewers understanding that the BSF despite repeated reminders has chosen not to react, not to comment on this particular story. Uh, we've of course been asking them for the same and we will update our viewers as and when they react but the story right now is that troops have been pulled out from borders as these veterans are telling us just so that they can give a farewell to the director general. It's for our viewers to understand and decide just whether this is right or wrong in the times that we live in. Back to you. Jugal, thanks so much for that update. We're going to keep coming back to you for developments. Uh, Jugal getting us this exclusive report uh, showing how troops have been pulled out from the border for the farewell parade of the DG of the BSF affecting the operational capabilities of uh, the border security force. This is the big story that we are tracking this Saturday. It's an India Today exclusive. We'll keep getting you reactions to this story.